Welcome to Take a Bite Podcast, stories for hungry kids. My name is Miss Janine, and I'm going to tell you a story today to help you eat. Sounds easy, right? It is, but most importantly, it's fun. So grab some breakfast, lunch, or dinner, a family member or friend, and your listening ears. Oh, there's one rule. Every time I stop my story and say, take a bite, you take a good bite of your yummy food. And if you finish that bite before I stop again, don't wait for me. Keep on munching. Okay, enjoy your meal, enjoy the story, and let's go. Take a Bite podcast stories are written for children three years of age and up. Adult supervision is always required while kids are eating and listening. Always remind your child to finish chewing before taking another bite to prevent choking. Please see our website, takeabitestories.com, for more information. By listening to this podcast, you agree to all terms and conditions set forth within. Alien in an Apple Tree What on earth is that? asked Catherine as she stared up into the apple tree. She and her dad were at the orchard, picking red, yellow, and green apples and filling their baskets with the delicious fruits. Catherine could not wait to get home to make a pie and applesauce and all kinds of treats. But now her hazel eyes were staring up into the branches of the tallest tree in the orchard. And there was something strange on the tip of the tippy top branch that was sticking out into the sun. Take a bite. Catherine's brown haired dad held his hand up to his eyes to shield them from the sun so he could get a better look. That is really weird doesn't look like an apple or a bird or anything really I have no idea what it is he said cat that's short for Catherine suggested that they should try and rattle the tree to see if the odd object would fall to the ground maybe it was a popped balloon that got stuck up there as it tried to land or maybe it was someone's bag from the farm store that blew away in the wind The only way to find out was to get that thing down. Take a bite. So Cat stared up at the five apples on the branches above her and shook with all her might as she sang her favorite song from kindergarten. Way up high in the apple tree, five little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples and crunch were they good. Five apples plopped plop, to plop, the plop, ground. Plop. But that weird thing at the tippy top of the tree didn't budge. Take a bite. Cat and her dad just stared at each other with confusion. The thing up there was sort of glowing now. It was giving off this electric, greenish-yellow light from its circular shape. It was even making a very faint, barely able to be heard, buzzing sound. Is it alive? they wondered. Since the shaking didn't work to get it to fall to the ground, Cat had another idea. She started to climb. Dad was right below her to catch her if she fell. Did she feel scared? Sure, a little, but did she persevere? Absolutely. She kept on climbing, even though it was tough and a little scary. That's perseverance. Soon, Catherine was closer to the object so she could see that it was nothing like she had ever seen before. Take a bite. Dad, it's alive. It has three closed eyes and two noses and one mouth. I don't know if it's an animal or what it is. It's breathing, Dad. What do I do now? Cat's dad 
told her not to move too quickly or it might get startled. He told her to try to talk to it. So Kat just said one nervous word. She said hello. The thing in the tree took a breath and its green belly puffed with air. Kat just stared at it and Dad stared right up at all of this. It slowly, slowly opened one eye, then the second, and then the third to show bright blue circles that looked kind. Cat could tell the creature was nice and would not hurt them. Take a bite. Now Catherine had to figure out what this thing was and what it was doing in an apple tree. But before she had the chance to say anything more than hello, it spoke. Hello, I am an alien from Apple Space. I live on planet Apple Pie where we eat apple all day. But I am lost. I need help. The little alien said. It began to move its round little green body. Catherine scurried back down the tree and stood beside her dad to see what the creature would do next. Every time it looked at Cat, she seemed to understand what it wanted to say. And she could tell it was getting ready to jump out of the tree. Take a bite. Cat opened her arms, and the alien flew out of the tree and seemed to float so slowly in air, down, 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 until it landed right there on the sleeves of Catherine's purple sweater. It rolled out of her arms right into the giant bag of apples they had collected, and all that Cat and Dad could hear was crunching. This alien was hungry. It ate and ate and ate until it was glowing even more. It grew, too. Now it was a little bigger, and it had a smile on its face when it popped back up out of the bag. Please help me find my ladder, screeched the alien. Take a bite. The alien reached down into its built-in body pocket on its side. That was pretty cool a pocket built into its body. How handy. It pulled out a giant apple leaf that seemed to have drawings on it. When Cat and Dad looked closer, they could see that it was a map. It was a map with red ink and pictures like nothing they had ever seen. The alien's tiny little arm pointed to a pattern of zigzags. Oh, he was pointing to a drawing of a ladder and the ladder was sticking up out of an apple tree. And the apple tree was in an orchard. And the orchard was called Artie's Orchard. And that's where they were. Take a bite. Catherine and her dad understood now. There must be a magical ladder that could take the little alien back to apple space where he belonged. Now they just had to find it. Before they could make a move, the creature was off. When he walked, his body made the funniest sounds. He squeaked every time he took a step. He was moving faster and faster, weaving in and out of the apple tree rows, swinging from branches and hopping over roots. Cat and her dad just followed him, trying hard to keep up. He kept looking back at them and waving them on with his little arm as he glowed brighter and brighter. It seemed like they were getting closer to finding the ladder. Take a big bite. Finally, the alien stopped at the base of one of the tiniest apple trees in the orchard. It was not tall, but this little apple tree had hundreds and hundreds of apples on it. All your eye could see was apples that gave off a sparkly, shimmery dust all around them. And the most peculiar thing was that they were all the colors of the rainbow. There were purple apples, orange, teal, blue, red, yellow, green, even black apples, which didn't look too yummy. Cat and her dad just stood there and stared in amazement. 
The alien looked on with quiet blue eyes. This is the magical tree that should take me back home. But look, the ladder is gone, he said in the saddest of voices. Take a bite. Cat and her dad knew this tree must be the place since there had never been anything like it on earth. So they set to work to find that ladder. The branches and leaves and apples were so close together that it was possible the ladder was hiding in there somewhere amongst the shimmery dust. Cat began climbing and shaking the tree again. The rainbow apples did not budge. In fact, nothing on the tree really moved even though the shaking sound continued. So instead, Cat began looking closely at the tree's bark and leaves. And then she saw it. Take a bite. It was the tiniest little wooden ladder, like the size of a play ladder from a dollhouse. Cat scurried over the branch she was laying on to look at it closer. That was when she heard something. It was giving off music. It was the sweetest little song. Cat knew this must be the alien's ladder back to apple space, but she was afraid to touch it. She didn't have to because the little alien saw it too. He started jumping up and down excitedly, making little squeaks with every hop. He finally spoke. Thank you, thank you, that's it. That's my ladder back to Apple's base. It was hiding, but now you found it and I can go home. He took out his map from his body pocket and held it up to the sun. Sparks of rainbow dust shot out everywhere around him. Take a bite. As the map was shining in the sun, the ladder began to float out of the tree, into the air, and slowly down to the ground in front of the little alien. He smiled and began to reach for it. Cat climbed back down the tree to hold her dad's hand and watch. When the alien's itty bitty fingers touched it, the ladder grew and grew taller and taller through the branches into the sky and kept growing and growing until it popped through puffy white clouds in the blue sky. The alien said two more words. Thank you. As he began climbing the ladder, he didn't have to climb far because the ladder lifted off the ground and disappeared into the clouds in a puff of magical dust. And it was gone. Take a bite. Catherine and her dad stared at the spot where the ladder was and where the dust was clearing. When they looked back at the magical tree, its apples were just red, no more rainbow colors, and it looked just like every other tree in Artie's orchard. But there was something lying beneath it. Cat leaned over to pick up a small white piece of paper. It was the alien's map, and on the back? There was a note. Cat read it aloud. Thank you for helping me find my way back home. Remember, eat an apple every day to be healthy like aliens in apple space. See you again soon. Cat and her dad began skipping back to the farm store to pay for their apples. It had been quite an adventure. They couldn't wait to tell everyone they knew about their alien they found in an apple tree. Take a bite. The end. Well, are you full? Did you finish your meal? Good job. If you didn't, keep eating. Mom or dad can head to our website, takeabitestories.com for some discussion questions. You can see what you remember about the story, how it made you feel, and what you liked about it. 
If you're all done for now, thanks for listening. I hope this story made you hungry for more. Bye-bye.